I've had quite a lot of questions in the past about creating score lines, so that's what I'm going to show you in this video. First up, I want to clear some space so I can get in close. So I'm going to use my zoom tool to bring up quite a detailed area of the cutting mat. So you can see there, they're all inch marks. Now, I'm going to use the path tool, that's the zigzaggy line at the top toolbar, and I'm going to click once. There we go, click. Now, you can see this little elastic string that's come out from that point. That's where my line's going to go. Now, I could click and drag and create all sorts of wavy lines if I wanted to. That's really something else that I'm going to be covering in another video, though. So I'm going to delete that, and we're going to take a look at creating a straight path, because we want to create a score line. So I click once, I hold the Shift key, and then I click again. Now I've still got the elastic band, but if I double click, that finishes the line and it gives us this shape to work with. So now I want to create that or turn that into a dashed line. So I go to Properties, I'm just going to move that out of the way so you can see better what's happening on screen. And then at the bottom of that box, you will see the dash uh, patterns dialog box or drop down box. From there, you've got a variety of different uh, score lines or dash lines which you can use for drawing or cutting. Now these are great for using if you're doing uh, cards and you want to add a score line into them. You can change them. I quite like this one because it's almost uh, a very faint dash line. Now, while that's a line, you can still edit it as normal. You can still resize it. You can drag it around with the handlebars that are on the screen on the shape itself. You can also do um, constrained resizing, which is using one of the corner bars to resize it. And you can also rotate it, so it's almost acting like a regular shape or a regular line. Now, from here, really, really it's up to you what you do. Uh, but if you ever do come away from that shape, you'll see the properties dialog box does disappear. But if you click on it again, it will reappear. So anytime you want to change that line, just go into properties. And that's really it. It is that simple and that's how you create score lines or dash lines in your projects. So from here I'll leave it with you. I'll cover it more in depth in future videos uh, to do with uh, creating full projects but for now thanks for watching.